Let's uh, move on. Let's focus on Hindalco. Well, the company reported a good operational performance. It was better than what we were working with, despite some challenging environment. Their aluminum business did not, did not see compression as the street was expecting. To understand about the performance of the past quarter and the way ahead, I caught up with the MD, Mr. Satish Pai, and started by asking him about the price outlook as well as the aluminum business EBITDA per ton outlook. Let's hear him out. Why we continue to perform is that I think the most important thing is our costs are moderating. So in Q1, our costs came down by 2% versus Q4, and we think that the costs will come down another 3% in Q2 versus Q1. So whereas the LME, I think, is going to remain range-bound between 2100 and 2300, if the costs are coming down the way we said, we should be able to maintain that uh, $700 per ton EBITDA levels that uh, we delivered this quarter as well. Okay, all right. So that's pretty good news. Uh, so we got one variable. That's the cost cooling off. Out of your total quantity, could you tell us what is the hedging uh, policy? We just want to get an updated number. How much of your quantity is hedged? At what prices? That'll give you some cushion uh, as LME prices have corrected a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we, we you know, uh, there's been no change in our hedge position because the LME has come down. So we have about 11% hedged at $2,755 a ton. And with these current levels of uh, low LME, we have not added to that hedge position. Right? Got it. All right. So that is status quo. The copper business, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, we were chatting the last time as well. You said there'll be a bit of a shutdown, but it appears you'll have sourced uh, copper cathodes from outside and then converted it into uh, CC rods. And that's what's helped the profitability. Now, given that the plant is up and running, what can the EBITDA per quarter look like from year on? In the past quarter, you're surprised with an EBITDA of around 530 crores. From year on, what's the run rate? Yeah, I think that, look, uh, the first thing we have to realize is that because the copper demand in India is extremely strong because of the electrification drive, etc. So that is why to meet our customers' demand, we imported a lot of copper cathodes, converted it to rods. So I think going forward in Q2, you should see an EBITDA much better than in Q1, more near the 600s, because we are going to be using our own cathodes. Got it. Novelis as well, good improvement uh, out there. Uh, you know, it's improved from those low levels. How, give us a couple of numbers. The EBITDA per ton, you tell us that in quarter four, it will return to normalized levels, that $500, $525 per ton. But in the coming quarter, what should be the broad range of EBITDA per ton? And also for the second half of the year, on an average, what will Novelis's EBITDA per ton look like, given that destocking is almost done and dusted? See, uh, we are now, uh, last Q1, we ran at $479 per ton. So I am fairly confident that in next quarter itself, we should be getting close to the 500. And I think that that is going to constantly get better. So we are guided that by Q4, we will reach 525. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we reach it in Q3 itself. Wow, that's quite optimistic. Uh, then the street will like all these uh, sound bites that you're giving us. Aluminium, maybe top a ton, closer to around $700. Copper moving to around 600 crores on a quarterly basis. And Novelis, that could be a surprise. Maybe that 525, we see it earlier than what we thought earlier. But that brings us to the debt number. Operationally, they've given us a fair bit of guidance. The debt number, well, it moved up a little bit because working capital went up. Also, you have CAPEX plans. So what should the absolute debt number look like, say, by the end of this year? And also, if you could, uh, you know, revisit the CAPEX plans, both at Hindalco as well as at Novelis. See, our, our gross debt or, or the Indian gross debt is roughly around 12,000-odd crores in the long run, uh, long-term debt. We have not increased that. So as you said, the uh, total debt looked a little bit higher because working capital block was there in Q1. And that was largely because of the copper side, where we had to import these copper cathodes. So it led to a little bit of working capital block. So we have the no intention of adding to our debt lines. And I think that the net debt to EBITDA by end of this year will be back to, you know, we ended last year at some 0.33. We are going to be in the similar range at the end of this year as well. Correct. All right. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of excitement on Hindustan copper. Now, uh, you know, there will be various reasons from that company's point of view. Maybe they're doing a bit of management change. Maybe there's far more demand. Well, time will tell. But since, uh, you know, you could be one of the possible buyers out there, and you have said in the past, if it's offered, you'll be interested. Has there been any movement on Hindustan copper? 
Not yet. I, as I said, you know, whenever the government decides to do anything, we will be interested. But nothing has happened yet. But there's been no movement whatsoever because for the past couple of quarters, you'll have been telling us that if there is an opportunity, you'll be interested. But there's no movement whatsoever? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Uh, what about uh, Vedanta's unit, the titty corded unit that possibly could have been up for grabs? Uh, have you looked at that one? Not really. Okay, let's wind this down then with the CAPEX plans uh, for the year. Uh, you know, you just want to revise that. I think it was 5,000 uh, crores for India. And uh, for novelists, I think it was around $1.8 billion. Odd. Any change to those numbers? No, there's no change. I think that, you know, we, uh, most of the projects are ongoing. Uh, we have a strong balance sheet. We have the cash flow. So we will continue with our CAPEX plan uh, exactly as you stated. So no change there. That's uh, the big voice coming in from Hindalco. Let's